finally drilling the side. It's gonna connect here. There's some uh, step drill as well as one and a half conduit knockout. So this is gonna go here. down this is gonna press the rest of the way alright so this is a 25 socket just the cobalt pass through green leaf uh, one and a half conduit knockout and see if I can show it tightening up and piercing through So I'm going to use both hands. And it takes a lot to get through. As you can see, it's slowly getting there, pushing away. Gap is closing. Almost there. Closer, a little bit of gap left. Tough with one hand. So I'm gonna go here and go up. Sides pop through. Pretty nice clean cut. Clean all the way around. Of course, you can deburr it if you want. And I'm gonna show you the conduit knockout here.
this is a one and a half nipple probably like four or five dollars testing I'm gonna go through here Some sealer at the edge there. I'm just gonna go this way. Silicone um, this end as well as outside to keep water tight. Next, we'll be feeding wire in. This is what comes in from the garage underground, and this is one out. some off just like I need to cut some more off here I'll leave it on for now um, neutral is gonna go in uh, it's gonna be a little awkward so I'm gonna go down and then come back up with it if not um, move it over here which there'll probably be more room over here Length, um, get some more twist ties to get everything tightened up. Get this on here, the colors for each individual, just in case I have to go back later. All right, so box reworked here for the um, neutral here. Um, just want to clean it up, get it out of the loop that it was there. This one should be okay. If not, I'll go back and um, change it. Get a little access back here for the um, neutral bar. Everything here is going to get zip tied. I'm going to vacuum that. Um, leave those in. I might keep those for later to put back in. I'm just going to put another grounding bar up here. So it's clearing space. In the room if I need it. Zip ties for box. Got one empty 20 here. Um, probably do outdoor outlets or lighting. Either that or run it off the garage. So garage underground. Comes up here. Two rods, um, one here, and one there. I have the clamps for the rods, but I didn't get the wire. Um, I'm gonna go with four gauge, just because. I'll come back and tighten all of this. Um, I'll need to do the fireproof here. Fireproof there. I'm just feeding this one through. Make my connections live. Back feeding. Uh, what is it? At? Back feeding everything on copper. Coming up to these two here. So got a hundred um, coming from a hundred amp 
I'll probably only use about 60 or 70, but I don't want to risk blowing it, even though it's only going to be temporary until I get these lines connected and these taken down. So, no ox. This 100 amp here is going to go into that one. It's going to the other side or pair up to that. So, for now, closing everything up. Right, quick note, going back to tighten these up. Um, these are just in there. And to feed my my box without running the power going up. I'm going to disconnect these here after I tighten them. So disconnect from here and we'll just be down at the bottom. So we'll finish tightening these up and the last thing will be to close up, tighten the bottom and run 